So you've decided to give up in life and sell your better gear, the heavier stuff that actually produced good results, for something cheaper, smaller, okay, I, I can't see as well as I used to, no point in having the good stuff. Well, there are reasons why you might downgrade or even upgrade to Micro Four Thirds. It's not a full frame sensor, no it's not. You can't see in the dark, but there are some reasons and I'll share them with you today. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I've probably made this video like seven times before, so I'm like, reasons to get Micro Four Thirds. <laughs> I don't know, I just, the reason I'm doing it now is because there was a last second change. I'm in Ottawa right now. I'm just doing some stuff for my girlfriend. And I was going to bring the Sony with the 20 mil. Just boom, Sony a7S III, 20 mil 1.8. I could vlog, do some slow-mo stuff, but no wildlife. And at the last second, my buddy says, what do you, you're not gonna bring the Olympus? You just bring a little telephoto lens. You're not gonna have any telephoto capabilities in this vast ocean network of forests. I was like, ah, you might be onto something. I don't, maybe. So at the last second, I decided to do it. We're on the Olympus OM EM1 Mark III with the 12 mil Tony II, little black pro mist filter on there. And I have the 75 to 300 in my bag. Now this isn't the top of the line setup. My ideal would be GH6, like a nine mil, with, I think, is that a crow? Those, those sound evil. With the Leica 50 to 200, that's the small one. Decent enough results. I would rather have the 200 Prime, but can you imagine traveling with that thing? No, you couldn't. That brings us to key number one, why you would choose Micro Four Thirds. Let's get the obvious out of the way, it's lighter. You could actually bring a telephoto lens as well. There are light full frame vlogging setups that could compare to this, but if you also want to bring telephoto, that's not going to happen very lightly. What's the lightest? Maybe Canon, Canon R6 with the 16 mil 2.8 and the 100 to 400. You could have some shit, not good stuff, but for the most part, if you're into wildlife, you want some telephoto reach. Micro Four Thirds, that's as small as you're going to get. Actually, the Fuji would have, like the X-T4, with the 70 to 300, you could have got by. You could have done a little vlogging lens, a little Zeiss 12 mil. You could have done that if you didn't sell it like a moron. Oh, I sold it. The second reason, which isn't always a reason, it should be cheaper, but it isn't often. The GH6 and that Leica 200 mil, we're talking, someone's calling me. Why? I'm in Ottawa. That was my buddy trying to ruin my life. The same one that recommended I bring this piece of shit. The worst timing ever. Calm down. He meant well. He probably just wanted a crow. That's what I hate about switching lenses. Like, okay, there's one. I'll just, yeah, like I'd ever get that. You really need two setups. Boom. EM5 here. EM1 there. I'm just saying. Okay, let's get into some actual reasons that matter. As you're witnessing right now, stabilization is the most important benefit to your audience and family members. There's some warpy corner sometimes on Olympus, but for the most part, you're walking around. I'm not being that careful. I want to do a little side-by-side -side next to X H2S boy, but I don't have the file here. I'm traveling light with a laptop and I actually don't have that video. But if you remember it, my vlogging with an XH2S, I was walking like this, it was unusable. It's okay if you like do this. Not good, but it's okay. Free pieces of tile. Sign me up. Goodbye, garbage tonne. Don't let them tell you that you're not enough. Just because you can't be seen, even though we're on a micro four thirds sensor. Stop down to 2.5, by the way. They still exist in one place. That's your heart. Oh, they're gone forever. But when it comes to stabe for vlogging, it's hard to beat Panasonic. I don't, Olympus is pretty good too with the digital stabe. I should have put that on, but I did not. Hard to beat, and for telephoto, I think Panasonic is better than Olympus. Sometimes you're holding, it's like perfectly still, beautiful, but there's jerks. It jerks around, 
That's okay. It's not gonna ruin your life, but it's not gonna bring you rubies. But I tell you, I am thinking of upgrading to the Panasonic GH6 from my Fuji X-H2S. I've seen the X-H2 come out. I'm, I'm a little behind the times. I don't have internet. I did watch DP Review's video on it. They tested nothing. Pre-production. It's the same camera. It's been out for months. So, I don't know. I'm not super thrilled with it, whereas Panasonic might offer me some new stuff. 4K 120 with perfect stabe. Little pixel to pixel action. There's reasons to get it. Just being more stable and potentially super sharp with that Leica Prime. And say I was vlogging right now with that GH6 and the Leica 9mm. You know what? I would tap, boom, wait, locked. Done. Now we're vlogging. I'm perfectly in focus unless it missed that one chance, which it has done before. Just tap and then it's like, do -do, boom. Right here, did you want? I didn't. And it misses your whole video and you're, you're acting all confident like, oh, I'm manually focused. This <laughs> What, you use autofocus? And your blurry ass just needs to sit down on a bench for a while and rethink your life. What the hell? Wow, that is a busy yard. My goodness. They have everything you'd ever need. Wow, that is decorative. That is a decorative lawn, my friend. Now the reason I almost didn't bring this was because of what you just witnessed. That just abysmal slow motion, the over sharpening disgustingness, super crop. That hurts, man. That, that's not good. Imagine that would have been a 300 frame per second shot. Sure, you would have skipped forward at least 15 of those seconds, but I would have had fun making it. Can you hear this music? It's a bit obnoxious. You know who sings it? It's the band Copyright Strike for my channel, you piece of shit. I just went to go film the best dance party of your life, but a police officer was like, yeah, you can come. You just have to register, just don't film. I was like, that's the one thing I wanted to do. Could have been some lame white people dancing in slow motion. You missed it and we'll never get it back. So I've switched into digital stabe since I just took a break at the library, fiending for some internet. I'm in an apartment with no internet, that's been fun. Glad there's a big UFC tonight that I... I'm gonna hide outside the corner and try to Wi-Fi it afterwards. It'll work. So another reason you might want to go to Micro Four Thirds could be color science. You prefer either Olympus or Panasonic to other color sciences. Sony's disgusting. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes I prefer Sony colors for some reason. And then just, there's always some moment where you're like, that ain't right, is that a bee? He was about to bite me, feeding for Canon colors, but he can't have any. It's just sometimes like, is the white balance off? Something don't look right there, always. But it's pretty good. I noticed the sun was coming out, so I stopped down the toniature, and now we're only at 4,000th of a shutter instead of 8,000, allowing a super friendly motion blur. So maybe you're just sick of color grading, you're just sick of something being off. Go to Olympus, maybe not in this exposure, but you're blessed. Maybe not Panasonic, we'll see. But Micro Four Thirds has a lot of, what was that? It has a lot of cool features. Best stabe in the business, decent color science, light, cheap, autofocus in the Olympus at least. Very reliable, not Panasonic, not ever. Some lenses, some nice Leica lenses. You can't just get Leica lenses for every system. That's why Sony might be an advantage for you if you like the Zeiss lenses. You can't just get an autofocusing Zeiss lens for any system. Not yet, maybe in 35 years, when you have a little Fringer adapter. It's like, oh, look. They do exist for Leica M mount, but whatever. I'm behind the times. I have no internet. I don't know what's happening in our Earth. The thing that scares me from jumping into Panasonic is I've talked to several camera stores 
that don't stock Panasonic cameras anymore. I don't know, I think a whole video needs to be made on that, so I will not say another word. And I'll tease you, but you have to subscribe for the next video. What's up with all the buses on the road? It's 5 p.m. It's not rush hour, it's a Saturday. I'm gonna leave. So what do you think? How is the stabilization? Oh my God. I'm walking hard. Let's just do it, let's fuck. Boom, hard walks. No system would look good, except Olympus. There's no way that even looked good. I'll leave.